Hi there folks, you're watching the Black Powder Shooter 44 channel. Today we're going to have a discussion about long barreled cap and ball revolvers such as the 1858 Remington stainless steel buffalo gun I got here behind me and also reflect on the time that I brought an 18 inch barreled Cole 1847 Walker replica out to the range uh, when we did performance testing with that gun and then we're going to look at um, the performance metrics of the other long barrel revolvers, such as the 58 Remington here, such as the 58, or sorry, 51 Navy Bunt line, such as a regular barrel Colt Walker. And we're going to discuss, okay, what is the best barrel length to use to get the most velocity out of your cap and ball revolver? Let's get to it. As mentioned at that time, the long barrel was a custom job done by Hans Machine Works. And it truly was a behemoth, and uh, just a lot of fun to shoot at the range. Compared to the 9-inch barreled Walker, the 18-inch barreled version did give a slight benefit in terms of power, but not that much of a difference was detected. So only about 100 feet per second extra was detected with the same load in both guns. So considering this information, as well as gathering info from all the other velocities from other long barreled cap and ball revolvers I've shot in my videos, um, the results I'm going to be showing you here today is a comparison of, of all of them together. So um, the loads I did use were with black powder and a round ball that we're going to look at today. I did use Pyrodex for some of the test but just for to kind of give like a constant I guess comparison we're going to look at just black powder loads as uh, with a round ball so the results were as follows the 18 inch barreled 1847 walker had an average velocity of 1133 feet per second with a 55 grain load the 9 inch walker with a uh, 55 grain load of triple fg black powder we were looking at 1,038 feet per second. And then the 12 inch Remington Buffalo revolver, we got an average of a 928 feet per second with a 35 grain load of triple F black powder. The 12 inch 1851 Navy bunt line, we're looking at an average of 872 feet per second with a 35 grain load of triple FG black powder. So looking at, at all this information, in my opinion, if you're trying to get the most velocity out of your black powder revolver, it appears that about a 12 inch barrel is going to about give you your max velocity output, generally speaking. Uh, much more than that, and you get into an area of diminishing returns, and it would have been cool to compare the 55 grain loads in the 1858 Buffalo and the 51 Navy butt line to the walkers, but there's just no way I can shove that much powder in those cylinders. Um, a benefit the 18 inch barrel revolver has is a potential advantage in accuracy, especially if it had a shoulder stock. So my Remington revolving carbine has an 18 inch barrel, and of course it has the shoulder stock, and it is much more accurate than my other cap of all revolvers for obvious reasons, because it's a rifle, right? Um, so that is a potential advantage of the 18 inch barrel. Finally, we must look at the novelty of long barrel revolvers. They're just plain cool, and if you just want to have fun on the range, like myself, go and get you one of these. Okay, that will wrap up the show for today. Hope you all enjoyed um, going over this. Let me know if you have experiences with long barrel cap and ball revolvers. Um, have you got your hands on a gun such as the 58 Barrington Buffalo, 51 Navy Bunt line now that is being made? Um, 
you know, it's been about three or four years that they've been making those now. What has your experience been? Let me know below. Uh, until next time, have a great day.